Well, welcome back. It's Friday. It's the end of a week and that has seen and seen a plenty of developments both on the global front as well as the national stage. The big picture takes a look back at the stories that in the past week have made and in fact have had the most profound impact on the country and beyond. Arib is here with me in the studio. Arib, it's been quite a hectic week for all of us. Yeah, exactly, Ron. It's been quite an eventful week and a crazy one at that. So let's start with the national civil aviation policy that we got. So plenty of good news there. New operators can now fly international routes if they operate 20 aircraft or 20% of total capacity, whichever one is higher. So that essentially does away uh, with the rule that mandated a five-year wait before flying abroad. So the policy has also opened up the skies for countries beyond the 5,000 kilometer radius. So essentially uh, an overwhelming policy right there. The highlight though now, you'll not have to pay more than 2,500 rupees for a one-hour flight and not more than 1,200 rupees for a half-an-hour flight. But the other big one, Ron, is the Reserve Bank of India had announced that uh, a new measure to tackle bad loan menace. So it's called the Scheme for Sustainable uh, Structuring of Stressed Assets. It's quite a mouthful, I know, but it's been abbreviated to S4A. In simple terms, it's supposed to succeed where the strategic debt restructuring scheme failed. So the highlight is that banks can restructure assets of a company. Uh, restructure a stressed company's debt into equity without bringing in a new promoter on board, which is what the SDR attempted to do. Now, from the tech space, we saw one of the biggest deals in uh, uh, in that software space. So, Microsoft has bought LinkedIn for $26.2 billion. The all-cash deal values LinkedIn shares at $196 each. So, literally big deal. But, uh, you know, Ron Satya Nadella will have to keep his fingers crossed. Microsoft has had a checkered past, you know, uh, what with that $9.5 billion write-off on Nokia. So, I mean, let's see how that goes. But, you know, this week was also marked by a tragedy in the UK where focus has squarely been on the EU referendum. So yesterday, uh, British MP Joe Cox uh, was tragically killed after being shot and stabbed several times in own constituency. Now, witnesses report that the killer shouted, Britain first, two times when he attacked her. Now, Ron, you know, it's stories like these that, uh, you know, make you introspect about where our civilization is headed. It's just so tragic and uh, devastating. Absolutely, Arif. In fact, I've always believed this that the, 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 both the attacks, whether it's the Orlando one or the attack on the, on the Labour MP, is at the end of the day an assault on the principles that we cherish, whether it's the principles of plurality, democracy, humanity. It's really an assault and something that we really need to speak out about more often than not. But right. thank you very much, Arif, for joining us. But like